So my name is Heather Wall and I'm a board member of the Museum of Jersey City History. And today I'll be talking about Mary T. Norton. So a little bit of a timeline about Mary. Mary was born in Jersey City and grew up here, Irish Catholic family. Um, she went to St. Joseph's uh, where she was also baptized. Um, later, she was married at St. Joseph's as well. A lot of connections to that particular parish. Um, and then she was married in Jersey City as well, also at St. Joseph's. Um, and then started her political career here. Moving forward, she ended up leaving Jersey City to move to New York just after she left Congress. So she moved to Manhattan in 1953 to be closer to her sister then ended up in Connecticut for a little while where she passed away, but she's back here in Jersey City now um, at the Holy Cross Cemetery on West Side. She passed away in 1959. So Mary Norton, her cultural background is she's Irish. Both of her parents um, were from Ireland and came over here. Um, so she was born here in Jersey City. Um, she lived here in Jersey City with brothers and sisters. She was the fifth of seven children in her family. Um, she had an older brother that, that did live, four of her siblings passed away, and she also had two younger sisters as well. Uh, when Mary was 17, her mom passed away. I, I loved reading uh, you know, what Mary had to say about her mom, about how beautiful she was, and she, she really seemed to look up to her mom. And being the next oldest, you know, the, the oldest female in the house, um, she ended up taking charge of the house after her mom passed away, so around age 17. So she had already, I actually, she had, I suppose she had already finished school at that point. She went to Dickinson High School. Um, at the time, it was called Jersey City High School. Um, and her brother actually became the principal at that school later on. Um, but she was very proud of her family, um, Irish family, very close with her family. Um, and then she ended up getting married and stayed in Jersey City as well. Um, she had one son who passed away in infancy. And it could be said that that was really what catapulted her from her, her main focus in life. Her, she really, really wanted to be a mother, you know, that she, there's a lot of really wonderful quotes about how important motherhood is, but that really changed the tra trajectory of her life for her and set her on this political you know, path of giving back. What I want the community in Jersey City to take away from Women's History Month is to know that there are so many more stories, particularly women's stories, that we're not hearing in our history books. So to go out and find those stories, to, to learn about all these women that came before you, and most importantly, to know that your voice matters too.